Hey, Geometry for Teacher students. Uh, we're going to be talking about some transformations. Transformations are ways of moving objects, like this triangle, around the plane. And there are going to be three types of transformations that we're going to focus on. The first one is a translation, T for translation. For a translation, what we need to know is a point A and a point B, and an arrow between them. In other words, what we want to do now is we want to move all objects just like we move A to B. So in some sense, if we've got a copy of our triangle here, what we want to do is we want to move our triangle over. Now let's be a little bit specific here. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but what's happening is we're moving over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 2. So every point of the triangle is going to be moved over 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and up 2. That's that point of the triangle. This point of the triangle will be moved over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 2. 1, 2. You can see there's the base of the triangle that's been moved over to the right 6 and up 2. The top of the triangle will be up here. So in each case, what we've done is we've taken each point on the original triangle and moved it over 6 and up 2. That's the transformation from A to B, because to move from A to B, we move over 6 and up 2. So that's a translation. The next type of thing we want to look at is a reflection. In a reflection, what you have is a line of reflection. And M here stands for mirror. You want to mirror this object across that line. So that's why you have the subscript L. Now, a nice way to do that is with the tracing paper. Think, let's put the tracing paper on top like that. When you are doing a reflection, the best way to show that is to flip the paper. In other words, we're flipping the paper over the line. We want to be careful in how we do this because we want to make sure that the distances work correctly. So you notice that this is too far away and that's way too close. We want to get the right distance. Well, how can we find that? Well, the best way to think about that, and I'll move this out of the way, is that we keep track of this point right here. It is a distance of two away from the mirror. So I need to line this up so that vertex is a distance two away. That looks good. Let me draw it in. So there's the point that's two away. This is a distance of one, two, three, four. So I'll move four away. One, two, three, four there. And that's a distance three up. One, two, three. So that red triangle is the reflection of the purple triangle across the line L. That's a reflection. The last type of transformation we'll discuss in class is a rotation. And in this case, for a rotation, you need two things. You need a point of rotation. This is going to be the point O. And an angle. We'll go with 90 degrees. Please note that when we are doing this, whenever we talk about an angle that's positive, that is counterclockwise, so going this direction. How does this work? Well, again, let me put my tracing paper down. The idea is I'm going to put my finger at O, and I'm going to rotate the shape, keeping the paper fixed at O. And the goal here is to move through a right angle, or 90 degrees. So once I've moved through that 90 degrees, there, that's where my shape's going to be. Again, it's a good idea to make sure that you've kept distances the same. So this vertex is 1, 2, 3 from O. So down here it needs to be 1, 2, 3 from O. So again, I'm going to remove the paper and draw this. It's really helpful to think about the fact that with 90 degree rotations, horizontal lines like this one become vertical lines. So this horizontal line of length 4 becomes a vertical line of length 4. And this vertical line of length 3 becomes a horizontal line of length 3. That's my rotated triangle. 
once again, we fix what's going on here at O and we rotate around that point. And that's how we get that rotation. So our focus for class is going to be understanding these three operations. So if you can keep in mind the translation moving from A to B, the reflection reflecting over a line, and the rotation rotating around a point, you'll be in good shape.